here's my target and I've placed it about 6.7 kilometers from the submarine so we will take a shot at it and see what happens it's just a box, big box made of carrier parts with um, fuel containers inside of it so let's just see what we can do ah uh, no so the problem is whenever you switch away There it goes. Whenever you switch away after launching, if it's not the next vessel that gets selected, what will happen is it will um, lose its targeting information. So I may have to program something to basically force it to remember what the target was. That was a success, I think. So here we are, new submarine. Um, we have a target carrier, six point, uh, right on six kilometers away. So we'll open the bay. We'll hit it with one of the larger missiles this time. So if we select the target and we jump to the missile immediately, Now we, we did get a little bit of a crooked launch, but with the range of this mi missile being around 10 to 12 kilometers, I don't think it'll be, you know, it'll have any problems reacquiring and tracking the extra distance. Uh, if it's a, if, if it was exactly at the edge of its range and you launched it and it was a crooked launch, it might have problems tracking, so... This looks pretty good. I think we're going to have a hit here. Ooh. <laughs> So back at the submarine, and we'll take another shot with a heavy missile and see what happens. Oh no. Did it maintain? Ah. So again, I jumped away and it forgot the target, and I reacquired a target, but now it's, um, I'm acquiring the debris instead of the actual carrier. So I'm hoping that the debris will be close enough to the carrier to still get splash damage effect, and we'll see what happens. Now that was devastating. That was brutal. Oh my god. I didn't expect it to wreck that much of the ship. Wow.
here we have uh, the KSC and um, these are aircraft that are you know being repaired and uh, you know refitted to go uh, out into service I think we should strike these aircraft while they're sitting here damaged so they can't be used in another you know fight so I'm going to target the one in the middle and then what we're going to do is we'll fire a short range missile and this should be successful I don't know why it actually turns a little bit to the right but it should spin over let's see what happens looks good to the sub this time. Try aiming at the naval variant this time. Let's see what we can do this time. Again, accuracy from a sub is sometimes spotty, but hey, take what you can get. Sometimes you just have to take what you can get. The, the the launch sometimes causes a little variation in the flight path. This looks good though. You have to use these primitive, you know, particle effect systems, but oh well, do what we can. This looks like a perfect hit, by the way. Kaboomy. Sometimes it's difficult to know what is the next. I just press the next switch to next vessel, and you don't know if it's the vessels over here or wherever. So you have to keep kind of jumping back and forth to try to find the missile, which is kind of annoying. So as you can see there, it actually lost track because I went between a whole bunch of different vessels. It lost track of what the target was, but it reacquires it once it reaches the... Um, the acquisition phase or the parallel tracking phase so now we're coming in we look good it's at the perfect uh, nearly you know it's at seven kilometers which is just at the uh, strike range of this uh, mark II missile so we'll find out uh, what I've done to the uh, visuals hopefully it's not white anymore or I'll freak out Now it's completely white. I'm going to launch a missile just in case. And we're going to send them an early Christmas gift. <clears throat> Now that we're close to optimal firing range for this particular missile, we should be able to hit and do some serious damage and see some ugly graphics. Here we go. Okay, so, um, that was fun. Piecemeal style. Killer 
Cadogan. This is one thing I've never tried before. That's hitting a submarine. This submarine's gone wonky on me. So, I've decided to take it out. It's below the water by about 50 meters. But the water is kind of strange in KSP. It doesn't even, you know, it reports things as a hit, uh, as, a, as a collision, but it's not a collider. So it's code collision, it's not physical um, collision. So my explosion should be able to penetrate even 50 meters below if it's, if there's no other code interfering here. We'll find out very soon. Oh, it's on the surface. Explosion. Oh, it hit the ground, the explosion. Unbelievable. Oh, ooh. ooh. It blew an engine off. It blew an engine off. Wow. So we did get a hit on the sub. It actually is damaged. So that's kind of cool. All right. Here he is. Is he alive? Come on, little turd. Get up. Oh, he's not waking up for nothing, this guy. This guy's uh, not waking up for anybody. Maybe when he collides with the ground, he'll wake up. Let's see. Well, he got his headlights on, so he's somewhat functional. He's just stuck in a state right now where he's not responding, so we'll find out shortly. Doink. Okay, Turgulus, get up. Get up. Yes, okay, so you're awake. There we go. Sometimes they need a little bit of coaxing. So let's get him up above 600. So he's not in the freak out zone. There we are. So he's safe. We're now not freaking out anymore. But I am probably coming up underneath the sub quite quickly. So we'll swim a little out of the way as to not get hit. Turn the headlights off. We're going towards the sun. We don't need headlights. Okay, so we'll go up. And as we get close to the surface of the water, instead of flying out of the water at, you know, 10 meters per second, what we do is we slow our ascent to slow up to get rid of some of that speed. Now, what I could do actually is get in here and take control of the sub again. So as you can see, I can swim up and down. Doesn't always work great, but we'll find out soon enough here how, how it's gonna go. So we gotta go down, open that up. If we can get over here, we can switch to walking mode, grab this, get back on board. We're now part of the submarine. So we just got in. Now look at, oh yes, look at that, that aerial attack actually damaged the sub. We knocked off an engine, so I don't know how this thing's going to behave now. We could probably surface it. We have one engine left, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of yaw 
trim. Hold it steady. Okay, now we're going to start blowing. Now the engines can't operate outside of the water, but uh, the effects still kind of run out of the water. I have to figure that one out, but uh, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we're out of the water. Get rid of all of our ballast. Oh, we still have a uh, trim. So I'm going to knock the trim out. And uh, we'll shut her down. Alright guys, that's another little update. Um, so the effects are kind of coming together. Uh, the sub is balanced again. And I have the cameras operating at the right inter at the right times, so that works. Um, I don't see any other issues right now. I think that I can probably concentrate on getting some of these textures cleaned up and uh, get it out out the door. Later, guys.